Okay, are you prepared for the shocker du jour? I've been showing the dragon and the fish in the desert for years. Quite a number of years. These are coins that they were minting back in the Roman times. They knew about these events. Now, we're going to start talking about the seriousness of this research because I've had people say, well, so what? It's a big deal. So what? What if it's true? Big deal. Who cares? I say, well, what if it had some effect on your eternity? That would be something to consider. Right? Or no. Some people want to live for today. That's fine. I did until I realized there is a tomorrow, and I'm almost certain of it now. Uh, you know, it, all the ancient texts, I'm taking them as, as mostly factual. Now, there is different, different interpretations of the same text. Yes, absolutely. But the one thing that it talks about and is not wavering throughout any of the texts is that we should search for the truth. And right now, I see that as not the general way things are done. There's a what I call being perfectly happy deluded. All right, when you think you're educated, you're perfectly happy deluded because you're not thinking anymore for yourself. You've already been told what you have to say to be an educated person and then you say it or you're basically destroyed. So that's, that's the thing that I'm fighting against. But anyway, we're going to go deep into this again because it, it keeps taking on more and more meaning as I go deeper. And I'm starting to understand there, there is, a, there is a, a, a soul that is not related to matter, I believe, at this point. Because every molecule there is is nothing but recycled. And it, anyway, we're going to get deep into all of that stuff. It, it really does get deep. So let's see if we can figure it out. You know, or at least think about it. 